We've received complaints from 25 people. We suspected it could have been <clears throat> as a result of those upgrades, but we are still doing internal investigations with a view to coming up with a, a cause, which of course we, should, we will be able to, 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 to solve. But in the meantime, what we did was to ensure that uh, people's personal identification numbers are reset so that they get new ones. Meanwhile, the bank says it will be compensating the affected clients in the mishap. We definitely will have to refund that. I think we've even already started. And we are talking of uh, amounts that could have inconsistently moved of about close to 20 million. The development comes at the time when several ICT experts are warning of increased fraud-related activities targeting financial institutions over ICT-supported transactions. This addition to improving client convenience has pushed many banks to invest heavily in building strong firewall systems to protect such transactions. We regularly update or upgrade our systems. You know, you know IT systems. They can't stay st static. They have new things that you want to put in and so on. So at intervals, we do the upgrades. So as we are doing this, we received these complaints, and we thought it was as a result of that. 